let's make a deal here, all right? When I tell you this game was originally a Facebook application, you don't freak out. You don't get all uppity about how the real video games are the ones that come on cartridges and discs. And in return, see, I get to tell you about this awesome puzzle game and I'll, I'll be honest about how much I suck at it. Just released to the App Store, Rinth Island is a lot more than just some Facebook game with some nondescript title. This is a top-shelf puzzler with fantastic graphics, loads of personality, and puzzles way too clever for me to solve. You begin by choosing between Gimbal and Libby, and given our hair color, I went with Libby. And from there, you help your fellow islanders rebuild after a devastating storm. That means you solve puzzles. Or in my case, you, you try to. The puzzles take place on what are essentially cylinders. You walk around the edges while pushing blocks into place, opening new paths. Rinth Island is designed with the cylinder in mind, and it definitely leverages the concept for some complex puzzles. I mean, the first time you fire a cannonball from one side to open a path on the other, you're giddy about it, and then the game stumps you, and you're infuriated by it. One of the best things about Rinth Island is how much gameplay it offers. There are several different missions for each level, and each one changes things up. So rather than simply finding the exit, you might have to collect things or solve the puzzle in a certain amount of steps. Not only are the puzzles designed well, but they give you plenty of ways to play as well. I didn't do well with Rinth Island. That's, that's it's probably evident by the footage, but even so, it's a lot of fun. It's really smart, and it's really challenging, and it's highly recommended on the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs>